I want to bring up our next performer, who is one of my, makes me laugh so much in so many ways. And honestly, truly, everybody put your hands together for Mr. John Glazer. Everybody. <laughs> My dad died recently. <laughs> Thank you for that. And he, he and I were not, uh, we were not very close. My parents were divorced uh, when I was pretty young. And, you know, I'd see him on weekends and all that, but it was a very peripheral uh, relationship. And over the last several years, when we kind of knew he was dying and it was, there was no going back, uh, we, you know, I thought we would be able to resolve certain things and put things behind us, but that was not able to happen. And uh, so I, up until he died, I really never got to know him that, that well. And when he did pass away, I had to go back to Michigan and settle his estate and kind of go through things at his house. And it's a very profound, I have to say, very profound experience to get to know your father through his belongings, to discover things about him that you never knew, and um, start sort of piece together who he is. And one of the things that I discovered uh, upon going through his stuff was that my dad was in ZZ Top. <laughs> which is something that he never cared to share with me. Um, which may have made a big difference in my life and who I am. But he was in ZZ Top and I discovered, not the band as you know them now, he was in an early incarnation before they really became who we know them to be now. Um, and I discovered, basically in a box uh, that was labeled, uh, don't show this to my son. <laughs> it's actually not through. I thought I'd throw one joke in there. Um, just for these guys to keep it, you know, so it wasn't like, ah, boring. Um, but in this box of things, um, it was actually labeled ZZ Top Letters, which I wasn't going to say because I thought you would never believe that, but that's what it said. And uh, <laughs> So I found these letters that he wrote to members of the band, and I wanted to read a few of them uh, tonight. <laughs> there was a lot of them, but I'll read four. <laughs> uh, just to kind of give um, a little bit of... Uh, of a syllabus to what you're about to hear. Um, just uh, to get you up to speed, uh, to refresh your memory, the name, the drummer's name is Frank Beard. So if you hear that name, that's who that's referring to. The guitar player is Billy Gibbons, and the bass player is Dusty Hill. So if you hear those names, those are the references. This first letter is, and I also just want to say really quick that I know in comedy shows that the letter, uh, the correspondence, the journal, the diary is a it's a very tired comedic device, and the difference between mine and those is that these are real. <laughs> these are real letters from my dead father who is in ZZ Top. <laughs> this first letter is... Um, from the first weeks of the band when they were just kind of getting going. Hey guys, by now you know that instead of talking about stuff at rehearsals, I prefer to keep quiet, gather my thoughts at home, and write you all letters. <laughs> I know you hate it and wouldn't put up with it if I weren't the greater Houston area's greatest keyboard player. 
It's one thing I never knew about my dad, that he lived in Houston. <laughs> anyway, dynamite rehearsals last week. I know you're not supposed to count your chickens before they come out of the eggs, but I think we're going to be huge. I mean, come on. Look at this lineup. Billy on guitar, Dusty on bass, Frank on drums, and Dave Glazer on keyboard? You gotta be kidding me. We'll be Houston's biggest soul fusion quartet in no time. So there's a lot of things I discovered about my dad in this first letter, that uh, he played keyboard, which I never knew, that he used to live in Houston, I'm from Michigan, and that ZZ Top was uh, originally a soul fusion quartet. The second letter, uh, he talks about, I guess they were trying to come up with the name of the band. <laughs> hey guys, sorry to throw some negative vibes your way, but I have to say that I absolutely hate the name that was decided for our band. ZZ Top? Come on guys, you have got to be kidding me. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, and I still have no idea what the Z's stand for, even after Billy explained it five times. <laughs> But I do have to say that I at least like the top part of ZZ Top. So I'm suggesting that we drop the Z's and focus on the top part. Here are some band names I thought of. Tip Top, The Tip Toppers, Top Hat, Top This, Take It to the Top, Dessert Topping, The Four Toppings, Spin Top Spin, Straight to the Top of the World, The On Top of Old Smokies, Top, top till you drop. And finally, TT's up. <laughs> my dad's words, my dad's words. And he put in parentheses after TT's up. Sorry, guys, I couldn't resist putting that one in. I have more names, but we can just go over those at rehearsal. But give it some thought, guys. ZZ Top is just fucking stupid. <laughs> really harsh there. Oh, P.S. I saw that movie Midnight Cowboy after rehearsal. Don't bother seeing it unless you're into weird pornos. <laughs> so this third letter, uh, I guess they, they had, must have had a meeting about the, the beards that those guys have. <laughs> hey, guys. First of all, I can't believe you didn't like any of my band names. Even some of the other ones from the list. Top of the morning, bad tippers, good toppers. When the red, red robin goes top, top, topping along. Stop sign minus the S. That one I thought was kind of cool. But I've been outvoted and I'll go with it. Just don't expect me to smile too much during our shows. Now, moving on to the suggestion of us all growing beards. Are you serious? <laughs> Manicured, stylized beards that go down to the middle of the chest? Please. There's no way we'll get any backstage pussy with those things. I'm glad that at least Frank agrees with me on this one. If you guys want to go ahead and grow them, by all means, be my guest. Just don't go looking for any apartments in Pussyville, because there won't be any vacancies. My dad's words. <laughs> I'm sorry to hold such a hard line on this one, but I don't look good with a beard anyway, and something that long would just get in the way of me trying to play my keyboard. So thanks, but no thanks. I'll just keep my ponytail. Just don't be surprised when I'm the only band member who smells like pussy. It'll be from all the pussy I'm getting. I never knew my dad had a ponytail. No photos, not even like photos of after, like, you know, he never showed me photos, obviously, of ZZ Top, but he wouldn't even, no photos of like right after he quit, and there's still the ponytail, so. <laughs> so I'm going to skip ahead, there was a few more letters in between that last one and this one, but this is where he, he quits. This is a pretty incredible letter where he tells the guys in ZZ Top he's out. Well, guys, I'm sure this will come as no surprise, but I'm quitting the band. This one was a no-brainer, as this is no longer the type of band I want to be in. I want to be in a soul fusion band. I've met with some musicians the last couple of weeks and decided to form a band with a sax player named Blue Moe 
and a bass player named Skeets Ding Dong. <laughs> We're gonna call ourselves Soul Fucius. It's a, it's a play on the name of the philosopher Confucius while at the same time letting people know we're a soul fusion band. I thought of the name and the other guys love it. So that's that. I just want to say I hope there's no hard feelings, but I also want to say that I'm so glad I'm not in your band anymore. I think ZZ Top is the fucking stupidest name. I think the songs suck. I fucking hate all of you guys. I hope you guys fucking fail beyond belief. I think you're all a bunch of dicks. I think the bass line in Tush sucks. Fuck you, Frank. Fuck you, Dusty. Fuck you, Billy. Fuck all you guys. And good luck finding another keyboard player, you dicks. Wow. So, um... Wanna thank Eugene and Bobby for inviting me up tonight. Thank you. Mr. John Glazer.